tuna namna kutengeneza HTML table kwa ajili ya fetch data from the database. Hii ni table ya HTML lakini umetumia platform mbili ya Bootstrap pamoja na data table. So data hizi hapa zinatoka kwenye database ya MySQL na data zenyewe ndio hizi hapa zinaonekana hapa. So hii ni table ambayo unaweza kufanyia filtering. Nikibonyeza next na kuja katika next page ambapo data zinaendelea kuonekana nikibonyeza previous na kuja katika previous page. Niki search specific employee for example uh, James utaona James ametokea hapa. Kwa ni table ambayo unaweza kaifanyia uh, filtering. Utafungua editor ambayo unatumia kuandikia kodi za HTML au PHP kama ni Notepad au Notepad++. Utafungua tag ya body, then uta close body na ndani ya body utatengeneza table. Utafungua tag ya table, kisha utai close table. Ndani ya table utatengeneza headings. Headings ni hizo zinazoonekana hapa, first name, last name, gender, email. So hizi ni headings. So utatengeneza headings, utafungua tag inaitwa T head, yani table head, then utai close hiyo table head. Then utafungua tag ya table row. Zeni ndani ya table row utatengeneza TH. TH ni zile headings ambazo zinaonekana pale juu. So first one will be first name, last name, gender. So naandika hizo headings. Uh, so first name. First name hiyo ni first heading. Na last name second heading and third is gender. So gender Zeni kinachofuata ni email and department so email another one is department date and salary so date date and salary okay so tayari nimesha tengeneza hizo headings ambazo ni hizi hapa. So tunachofuata na kuja kutengeneza database. Na kuja katika PHP me admin na kunyeza new na tengeneza new database. So database itaitwa my database for example database name my data database database name zina click enter. So na tunachofuata kutengeneza table itakuwa na columns 6 na table itakuwa itwa jina la employee then ta click go to execute. The first column itakuwa ni first name ambayo ita display data hizi hapa uh, itakuwa ni names za zile kwa database kwa first name last name so ni columns so first name just andika first name hii itakuwa ni last name then uh, kuna gender email la department so agenda then uh, email then uh, hii itakuwa ni department then ni nafuata uh, date and salary Date, 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 one column, uh, one column, date and the uh, salary. Okay, data type will be uh, text, variable character, and this one variable character, variable character, variable character, department, variable character. Z date, data type, data type, date and time. So, date time and the uh, current time stem. Kwaji ya kukapcha current time. Salary data type will be real sababu inachukua na decimal points. So primary key will be email sababu email ni unique column so itakuwa ni primary key. After then na click save. Uh, data size sorry. So data size 100 for first name, gender 100, 100, email ni 100, uh, department 100, uh, date department 100, date haina data size na hii salary inaacha data size. Then then na click save. Then uta insert data kwenye hii table uta just click kwenye insert then uta insert data au uta click go kwenye kwenye hiyo table ya after inserting data so data zizi hapa kisha zinset tayari so na uta insert data kwenye table ambayo umetengeneza so unakuja hapa katika ile uh, uh, fali langu la, la PHP ambayo nimepa jina la index nitakuja juu kabisa kabla ya body huku juu kabisa then tafungua script za PHP so PHP then enter code php and font and establish connection so uh, variable connection variable connection connection equal to built-in function ambayo fanya kazi ya ku establish connection inaitwa my sql i underscore connect so hii ni built-in function ambayo inafanya kazi ya ku establish connection the first argument will be server name server name is localhost localhost second argument will be 
uh, user, user is root. Third argument will be password, and password is empty for root. Database name will be my database, database I'm about to recreate. Then uh, terminate. After then, I uh, write query, I'm about to uh, just select data, provide database. So query now you associate in a variable query, variable query, variable query, variable query equal to, uh, when you quotation in query, yeah, MySQL, so now you can select all from employee, employee. Okay. So for writing select all, then I uh, put terminate. So now you execute query, so variable execute equal to my SQLI underscore query. Then na uh, two arguments. The first argument will be connection. Second argument will be query I'm about to make right. Query namna hiyo. But then na na terminate. So na kuja hapa kwenye hii table, of course hapa ni cause table head. Kina chufata hapa na tenyeza t-body. T-body, ambayo t-body itakuwa na data. T-body. T-body itakuwa na data. Of course, uh, data zenye hizi. So, hizi data zote zipa kwenye table body. So, nakuja, itenyeza table body. So, ndani ya table body humu, uh, just kufungua php uh, script. So, uh, php. Uh, php. PHP yapo zeni nakuja hapa na ikozi ya PHP zeni nandega if statement if my SQLI and uh, number of rows zeni naipitisha variable execute kuangalia ili query to row right kama me return number of row bita than zero so hapa nita just kuzi display iso data zeni else else manake iso data hazipo kwa database so na just ku display echo no record no record, then nakuja hapa na just to, to terminate namna hii. So hapa tayari manaki data kwenye database zipo na andika while. While na pitisha variable, variable data. Equal to my SQL island, that's called uh, fetch array. Just choose fetch array, so na pitisha variable execute. Variable execute. By then nakuja kuzi display iso data hapa. So na andika echo, then kwenye echo, then nakuja kuterminate. Bada kuandika echo. Kumu ndani na just kuandika table row, table row, and uh, table data, then na close table data. Then humu na just ku, ku concatenate, kitu kama ichi, by then na huja kuyandika variable data na capture first name. So uh, first name kutoka kwenye kwenye database. So hii ni kola mapata kwenye database, iyo uh, first name, then na huja ku close kitu kama ichi. Na copy the same command, na huja ku duplicate chini ya penye line nyingine so naifuta hii table row so just ifuta table row then uh, hapa inakuwa ni uh, just ile column ya last name last name akikisha zina match na match first name na hii ni first name last name na hii ni last name kinachofuata ni gender na then hapa naandika gender akikisha zina match so gender akikisha na ile jina naandika hapa ni gender na match na lile ambalo lipo huko kwenye database kwa sababu hiyo ni variable Ina match na hii ambayo ni gender zitofotiane ni case sensitive so gender kinachofata ni email so just hapa unandika uh, email kinachofata ni department so hapa just unandika department uh, department kinachofata ni, ni date so just hapa unandika date date kinachofata ni salary so just hapa unandika uh, salary so kina chufata ni just ku clear easy results so nakujua kuchini na nika my sqli underscore free free results so na free variable execute then na close connection then my sqli underscore close close uh, variable connection then na exit and just right here ex exit okay so nakujua kuangalia output kwenye browser ya easy code z to run so haba na just kuandika to local host uh, he's here of course, data zetu zimonekana. So kina chufata ni just kuweka data table wata itakona finya kazi ya filtering. So nitakuja Google, so just for example, uh, yes, fungua Google. Yeah, Google. Yeah. Then, uh, then hapa nandika data table. Then na click enter. Data table. Nandika data table, then na click enter. Uyo click link ya kwanza. 
Unajua kubonyeza uh, examples advanced initialization. Ndio unachagua uh, raw created callback of course uh, hii hapa. Una click. Then hii hapa ndio data table yetu. Unajua tuko upande wa JavaScript, una copy hizi code za JavaScript. Just na copy, nakuja katika editor yangu na kuja juu kabisa hapa, then na just kuandika script. Script then nakuja na just kuzi paste hapo tayari. By then naje kukopy library, library za JavaScript ambazo ni hizi. Nakuja kuzi paste somewhere, of course ni hapa, kara karaka. So na paste hapo. Hizo ni library za JavaScript. Lakini nyuma lazima zianze na na na, na tag inaitwa script then src yani kwa maana source then equal to kwenye ambao ni hii kwenye 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 quotation then na close your script the same procedure naifanya kwenye hii hapa ya pili so just na kuja kuiweka na hii hapa na hapa naoje ku close so kinachofuata ni kwenda ku copy uh, css uh, sorry hapa nimesahau kufunga hapa so just funga namna hii Okay so now naenda ku copy uh, CSS na kuja kwenye CSS na click na copy hizi code za CSS then nakuja hapa na kuandikia style kwa sababu ni CSS na just open style naandika to style then na, na paste hapo hizo ni style okay so kinachofuata ni ku copy library za CSS library za CSS ni hapo so just na select oh sorry uh hii hapo CSS so na select CSS na uje katika browser hapo kusore kwenye editor yangu na andika just link rl equal to just put style sheet then uh, href equal to then i paste na izena na kuja na close so na uje katika da katika le script za java javascript ni hizi so example ni id ya table so na uje katika table ya hapo walipa id uh, sorry id equal to example then unaipa class table then class equal to table then again table uh, then a uh, strip by then na save changes na kuja ku run ile uh, kazi yetu ambayo ni hii niki run so unaona imebadilika so tunachofuata ni ku format body na kuja katika style za css ambazo ni hizi so na add attribute hapa nyingine ya body na informati body so body just put a background background equal to of course the white smoke the white smoke then a uh, family font family font family consolas consolas na kwa namna hiyo so kinachofuata ni just kuja kwenye uh, table ambao ni hii table na iwekea just a card so a uh, div class sorry is div div then class div class equal to card then na, na cross then tutaja kufunga kule chini then div class div uh, sorry div class then equal to equal to hii ni card header header card header then then hapa naandika employee details kama heading employee details then na format hiyo card then just kuandika hapa style style uh, equal to uh, background background just naweka kama rangi fulani dark blue background dark blue lakini color sorry color color itakuwa ni white okay so nakuja huko chini naifunga hiyo uh, uh, div ya card so nikija ni refresh so na uje kutatu uh, data table yetu inaonekana na namna hii. Okay, so uh post female. Okay. So unaona hapa kama inaonekana vizuri kwa sababu sija include bootstrap. Bootstrap sija include. So nakuja hapa juu hapa then na uh, include bootstrap uh, naandika link rel then release style sheet then hr h r e f equal to css then bootstrap dot css so bootstrap ukisha mesha download you download bootstrap unaenda google unaandika bootstrap then unakuja kwenye hii link hapo unabonyeza download 
ku download ku test trap. So una download unagonyeza download kisha utakuja ku include hii mafile ambayo ume download ambayo ni CSS na JavaScript haya hapo. So utakuja Google au utaandika bootstrap by then uta click first link. Then utakuja kubonyeza a uh, a uh, documentation hii hapo. Documentation then utakuja kubonyeza download. Then hapo uta download hiyo bootstrap. Ukisha download uta unzip kisha unzip uta copy two files ambazo ni CSS na JavaScript ya tutaeta katika HT docs. Okay. So na bootstrap imeshakuwa included. So ni refresh unaona page yetu inavyoonekana sasa hivi ya just inaonekana vizuri. Okay, so kinachofuata ni kuformat hizi hapa. So unakuja hapa, unakuja kwenye what? Uh, kwenye zile JavaScript. So hapa na just kuformat column ya kwanza pili ya tatu ya nne ya tano ya sita ya saba Ya saba lakini kwa array inakuwa ni ya sita kwa sababu inaanzia zero First name itakuwa ni index ya zero 1 2 3 4 5 6. Index ya six na format ikiwa salary ni greater than uh, kiasi fulani hivi cha fedha basi ionyeshe rangi fulani rangi hiyo just nakuja kuformat hapa itakuwa ni red kwenye a style itakuwa ni red so nakuja hapa kwenye hiyo kazi yangu na just kuweka 6 index ya 6 katika columns na hapa index ya, ya 6 then uh, salary ikiwa greater than 100 then ni refresh nikija ku save changes ya ku refresh the browser niliokuta sasa Nibadilika. Na chofata ni kufamati hizo uh, data table So nakuja hapa kwenye uh, CSS uh, Style sheet uh, CSS So hapa na formati table Then table data Do na format Then uh, Na puti color Color kwa julia text Color equal to For example uh, Let's write blue And I just kujua kufamati blue ya uchagua rangi yako. Okay. So naja kuformat uh, table, then ninachagua th yani table head. Then uh, na put color uh, dark blue. So dark blue. So ni save changes, ni kija ni refresh. So na no longer table yetu inaonekana namna hii. So hapa tuweke space katika table, kuja katika table uh, table hii kwenye class Naandika MT minus 4 MT margin top MT is margin top minus 4 uh, of MT Ok no problem Just do it ka table hapa uh, Kwenye div Because just uh, put it break Yaka break break Say say break So na table yetu shayari Isha kamilika na tunazo tuka ifanya filtering hapo Itaka to search gender mba wani female So unawana yu kuta female peke yao Wana pia Nekitaka ntafute uh, user mba ya peke yake naituwa James So unawana James si uwe hapa wa James wana pia kwa hili Just to find uh, Find 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 Next next unawana katika next page Previous not back 